What's up, everyone? Welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we will demonstrate how to test the driver board. As always, remember to finish the above routine procedures before getting to the major part. Let the converter discharge for above 30 minutes. Make sure the DC capacitor is less than 5 volts in voltage, and disconnect the bridge rectifier. As you can see, we have removed wires from the bridge rectifier and wrap up their heads in electrical tapes. Complete the input wiring to the power supply. Turn on the input circuit breaker. Push the power on button. Let's move on to the driver board. We are going to measure the AC voltage of black, yellow, blue and white twisted pair wires, respectively, with a multimeter. The normal voltage value falls between 24 volts and 30 volts AC. We suggest recording these four groups of voltage data for further discussion with technicians. In our case, the voltage remains constant at 29 volts or so. Then, we are going to measure the DC voltage of these double-colored twisted pair wires. Put the multimeter into DC voltage range. The normal voltage range is between 1.0 and 1.5 volts DC. The previous version measures below 4.2 volts. Also, you'd better record these data for quick inquiry during your communication with technicians. That's it for this one. Thank you for watching. ATO provides a diverse line of frequency converters that are available in single and three phase types with various capacity options to choose from. They can convert 50 Hz to 60 Hz or vice versa at different rated voltage to meet your specific requirements for power supply. You can be sure that it is worth every penny. The purchase link are given in the video description below. Don't forget to check it out. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. See you guys in the next one.